So I'd like to look at a short tutorial on how to calculate S, the standard deviation of the residuals. I have some data here that's from problem 43 out of the TPS book, but it doesn't really matter. You'll be able to follow along either way with whatever kind of data you have. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the residuals, and in order to do that, we have to find the regression line. So on my calculator, I'm going to press stat, calc, and I prefer number 8. And then I'm going to store the regression equation into Y1. I think that's just a good habit to be in. So I calculate it. It gives me the data or the, the regression line with the R squared and R value. And in doing this, the calculator calculated my residuals for me. So you can see those if I press second list. So I've got some other stuff here x and y variables for different data sets, but there's the resid. So you may not have all of this, but the residuals will be on there after you've done regression. And so what I want to do now is put these residuals into my list. There's slightly more efficient ways to do it, but for explaining it, this is great. Put the residuals in L3. So that second list down to resid. It'll copy those in. And these are a measure of how wrong my line was at each point. If I look at the graph, so I made a graph of list one and list two with the regression line on it. These vertical distances are how wrong I was, and those are what the residuals are. That's these values right here. So now I need to square them. So I'm going to take L3 and square it. Then it says I need to divide it by n minus 2. Well, I have five. Sorry, I need to sum them up and then divide it by n minus 2. So second list, math, sum of L4. And then I need to divide that by 3. That value is S. That tells me typically how wrong am I? So typically, when I look at these residuals here in L3, how far off are they generally from the regression line? They are generally 0.8077 different than what the line would predict. That's how to calculate best.